Hello everybody, this is Captain Jurwa bringing you another Pokemon Showdown battle. This battle is a little bit of a different type of battle. Basically there's this guy on Showdown whose username is Real Captain Jurwa, and I don't know if he's one of my YouTube friends who I have on Skype or if he's just a random subscriber, but yeah, apparently he's the real me and he joins my battles, goes to my live streams and stuff, and he challenged me to an OU battle the other day, so that is exactly what I'm about to show you. So let's just get right into this. He's using Joey's Double Dance Thunderous T team, and yeah, he has a lead prelim. I'm definitely can't stand with Rotom. I go into Latias as he spores. Unfortunately, this is not a sleep talk variant of Latias, so I'm going to be forced to switch out and go into Titar. Just because I wanted to get the sand up to break his sash, and uh, I thought it would Swords Dance. But he goes into Scissor, he outspeeds me, I thought I was hasty. Special Titar for some reason, because that is what I run on a team that is similar to this, but uh, no. So I get U-turned. But he goes into Garchomp, I go into Fortress, just because I want to get rid of those rocks, because they will just kill my T-Tar when it comes back in, and I want to try to get the sand up at least one more time. Because, uh, yeah, his team does have a couple things that benefit from weather, but we both pull a double switch there, he goes into Thunderous Theory, and for some reason he goes for Agility, which is really weird because I can just demolish him with a Hydro Pump here. If he went for Nasty Plot, he could have O-Code my Rotom, as you're gonna see based on this damage, and that would have been great for him because this Rotom is putting a stop to his Politoed and his Starmie, so, but instead he just ends up dying, so that's very good for me, because that thing is a huge threat. But he goes into Scissor, I go into Fortress as he U-turns out, he brings in Starmie. This thing is a pretty big threat, so I'm just going to sack my T-Tar here, it's at 8% since I'm an idiot, and uh, yeah, I just decide to sack it here, but and I do skillfully dodge the Hydro Pump there, but it doesn't really matter, guys. I do get a little more Sandstorm damage on him. But, I'm now gonna, am gonna bring in my Rotom Wash because this time, <laughs> this turn, I can go for a rest to get back to full health. Because I'm going to need this Rotom's health because he still has that Starmie and a Politoed. And if I just switched it in right in on the Starmie before, he might have been able to take me out with a combination of a Hydro Pump and Thunderbolt. But now I go into Fortress on Garchomp, he is Swords Dance still throughout Garchomp, so this is not looking too good, he just is setting up a bunch here, and that Gyro Ball is not doing any damage. But I'm like, huh, well, if he's Swords Dance Stealth Rocks, he only has one attack to hit Gengar, and since I am sub disable Gengar, that means I have uh, just beat you guys. <laughs> so... Yeah, I set up a substitute there. I guess he predicted some sort of disable or something, or he just really wanted the rocks, which is a likely explanation too, but he goes for stealth rocks. I can just 2-a-k him with a shadow ball here, and he's going to go for an outrage, but since, as I mentioned before, I am sub-disable Gengar, I'm just going to disable him this turn as he's locked in and can't switch, and that is just going to uh, make it so he can't do anything against me, and I can just get a free sub up. But he does have a good Gengar check in the form of Scissor, and uh, it can just the other bullet punch for suit you turn out, and I do unfortunately miss this Focus Blast, which is not very good. I guess I do still have a Landry's and a Fortress, though, to take that thing on, so it's kind of eh. It would have been nice to have that damage, though, but now he brings in Politoed. I do have the Rotom Wash at full health, and he does appear to be a Scarf Politoed, so... He really can't do too much to me, he, like he can't toxic me, and I'm just going to be able to get a Will-O-Wisp off here, predicting the Garchomp, but looking back, I probably could have gone for a Hydro Pump, but uh, yeah, whatever. Getting a burn on the Garchomp is still fine, because I can take this opportunity to just get a Rapid Spin off, and just get rid of his rocks, which uh, is probably better for me, so... Hydro Pump would have been the move that would have hit the most things, but Will-O-Wisp was the thing that let me get rid of his rocks, and yeah. So that is pretty good, but uh, yeah, he's gonna die to burn there, maybe. And um, I believe he brings in, yeah, he brings in Starmie. This thing is a huge threat. That Life Orb Hydro Pump would do a lot to Rotom, because I'm not quite sure if he's analytic or not. If he's analytic, that would have done a lot. And unfortunately, we don't get to see how much it would have done now. Because I'm going to dodge another Hydro Pump and just kill him with that Volt Switch. And I go into Landorus Therian. This is actually a Double Dance Landorus Therian, which is what this team is based around. But uh, 
it does not get to do too much in this battle as he goes for Focus Blast with Politoed and I hope you cannot hear that chanting outside because it is really loud. Oh, I think there's some sort of sports events going on right now, but uh... Yeah, anyway, I have Lander's Therian in, and he switched into Scissor for some reason on it, and that Earthquake is just going to, uh, to a KO him, and he loses a Scissor, so, uh, that's fine. <laughs> but now I'm just going to go into Latios on his Politoed as he Ice Beams, that does a lot. I just went into Latios because I knew I could live any hit, and I just wanted to scout what move he locked himself into. And yeah, so now I can just go into Rotom, just go for a nice Volt Switch, and he just gets a crit there. He didn't bring in Breloom because he is the uh, lead variant, and surprisingly, its Focus Sash has not even been broken yet, so... Yeah, that's pretty interesting. But I just decided to just go back into Rotom as he was locked into Ice Beam. Gengar probably could have lived one, but I want the Gengar at full health. Just because he might have the chance to get a Bolt Seed off with his Breloom, and... Yeah, I need my Gengar at a very good amount of health if I want to have any chance of taking that Bullet Seed. But now, the Breloom's in, it still has its Sash intact, which is the funny thing, but Gengar is one of the uh, known kind of... It's, it's, I guess it's a check to Gengar, it's not a counter, but it is one of the better checks to Breloom just because it can dodge the Mach Punch. And if it's Life Orb, it can Oko it if it doesn't have a Sash. But yes! That was a battle against the real Captain Jirwa. It is a very, very interesting experience to battle yourself on Pokemon Showdown. I would recommend it for everyone. And uh, hopefully now that I've defeated that part of my personality, he won't be showing up too much. But uh, I really wouldn't mind it if he did too, because uh, he can be pretty entertaining sometimes. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that battle, and I will see you all next time. Peace!